So, we have a wine box. I have actually two wine boxes. Um, I'm going to try it with this one first. It may have the height to produce me a mouse trap. Um, if it don't, then I will change to the other box. That box is out in the garage, so I'll go and find it if I need it. So, we have some components we're going to use. We're not going to use that, but we might use one of these as a cage. I have some hinges somewhere. I haven't found them yet, but I will dig those out. <coughs> and I shall see what I can use for uh, for opening and shutting the flaps and God knows what else. There's the box. Hopefully we will have a have a result. Um, take me a few hours to knock it up, but hopefully we will have a humane mouse trap. Fingers crossed. Let us see. So we're going to manufacture a mouse trap. A mouse trap from this to this. Change the box. The box wasn't square enough, so I've got another wine box like it was, like I showed you in a previous video. And uh, I've made this. This is a humane mouse trap. So I'm hoping this is going to catch me some mice. Uh, seems to work okay. Some bait in there, ready to go. Hopefully this will work. As you can see, my stones on there. So, there's the finished product. Took me about four hours to knock up, bodge it in Scarper. I found the hinges. I knew I had some hinges somewhere. And dug those out, and this is what we've made. So, next stage now, will it work? Right, so it's the next day. Let's see what uh, mice we've caught. It's getting on now for nine o'clock. <coughs> I've just finished work, what, about an hour ago. We'll go and see how many uh, mice we've caught. Babies in here. Okay, it's uh, day two. The fight between me and the mice continues. Um, day one was a disaster. They ate all the bait, but the trap wasn't sprung, so my little invention didn't work. So adjustments done last night. I've just finished work. It's four o'clock. Let's see uh, if we've got a result today. The fight continues. Well, it has, the peanut butter has been eaten. The peanut butter has been eaten. Nothing. Okay, it's uh, day four, and um, we're just about. Uh, hovering above freezing um, we've got snow forecast for tomorrow heavy snow 10 inches so uh, we'll see what the uh, mouse has done there's my pen oh wait for it we have a mouse there's a mouse up I think we'll find that there's a mouse in there let's have a look There he is, little rascal. We got ya. What's the matter, little one? Can't you get out? He's all right. Hello. Hello, rascal. Rest assured, 
he will not be killed. He will not die. It's too cold for him to go out there tonight to let him go free. So I have a fish tank with sawdust and a little bit of straw and some food. And he's going to be staying in there for a few days until it warms up. And once it's warmed up a little bit, then our mate here can uh, make a move into the wild country. But tonight he's staying in the warm. Fantastic. My wine box works. So, my wars continue. And now we have another. We have one in there though. He looks like he's a bit more grown up. Lovely jubbly. That's two we've got. One has died. Two caught. One died. And two the cats. Local cat populations have uh, annihilated and, uh, and killed, basically. Now this one's desperate to get out. So he can go in the run with his mate. So we have the other one, perfectly healthy, in his box, water, food, and this one's going to go the same. So there we are. We now have two mice. One in the box, hidden, and there's a little toke up there. And he looks like a bit more grown up, so I'm wondering if he's uh, one of the parents, perhaps. I don't know. But the bottom line is, we have now caught two live mice, and as I said, they're not going to be killed. When it warms up a little bit, they will be released a fair way away. And this one's not sure about it all yet, but there's a bit of food there for him. There we go. Look, he's eating already. He's eating, so he's obviously not uh, upset about anything. He must be I hungry. I think I've got them all. There we go. Look, he's burying himself in there. What well, you seem quite happy, don't you? All made out of an old wine bottle case. It took me three hours to make it, and whatever was lying around the workshop, and it worked perfectly. Thanks for watching. Okay, so it's Sunday now, the snow has gone, I have no grass left, the ducks have had it all. And today I'm letting free these uh, two little mice. It's plus 10 degrees outside. They've put on a bit of weight. They've been feeding well. They've been drinking well. So it's now time to put them back in their natural environment. Well, well, well away from our house. And I let them, and I let them go into uh, a big pile of bushes a far away down the road. Okay, we have mice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to let them go. Let's see what we can get done. Hello! There we are. There's one. One's gone. Where's this other one? Here he comes. There he is. Oh, that's nice and... Uh, Fed and watered anyway. There you go, they're free. They are both free. Buried in there somewhere. A little gap. So, all safely disposed of. Alive. All gone. Thanks for watching.